Now, folks, you may never have seen one of these before. I made this. <laughs> oh, I'm very proud of this. Um, I've discovered something very interesting about electronics in the um, 21st century. <laughs> Any idiot can go to Radio Shack <laughs> or um, Fry's and buy a bunch of transistors and resistors and capacitors and whatnot, and then you, um, you can solder them together any way you want. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, that's what the scientists don't want you to know. It doesn't make any difference. When you put enough power behind it, something interesting will almost always happen. <laughs> this is what happened to me quite by accident, folks. I've invented the first practical teleportation device in the history of the world. <laughs> Maybe you guys would like to see this thing in operation. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's, for this experiment, um, we need to borrow some kind of matter that we can transmit from one place to another. Um, well, <laughs> it seemed to be a little short. Um, does anyone have a dollar bill that we can dedicate to science? Who's got a dollar bill? Anybody? Somebody, give me one. You got one, sir? Oh, look at this. Oh, you got more than one. Oh, one's enough. That's good. That's good. Did you get the serial number? I don't know. No. <laughs> that makes my job just too easy. What is your name, sir? Anthony. Anthony. Every dollar bill, Anthony, has two serial numbers on it. One here and one here. These match. They don't match any other bill on the face of the planet. So naturally, if I was to take one of these, uh, your name again is Anthony. Anthony. If I was to take one of these serial numbers and <laughs> give it to you, it would be kind of like a receipt for your bill. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to take what's left of your bill. And I have to say, you're a good sport so far, Anthony. <laughs> I'm going to take what's left of your bill and place it into this bit of napkin. And we place this into our device. And Anthony, we're going to make it travel from here and land someplace entirely different. How about into one of these large grade A lemons? Can you catch? Yeah. Oh, good. Catch. Good. Excellent. Catch. Catch this one, too. You get to look those over. They're just lemons. You get to keep one, toss the other one back. Is that the one you want or you want to change your mind? Hold it up in the air. Is that the one you want? Yeah. Okay, hold it up in the air. <clears throat> now... It's going to travel from here through the ether and land in that lemon if this works the way it's planned. <laughs> you know, they laughed at Robert Fulton, too. <laughs> they laughed at Tesla. They laughed at Edison. Well, they never really laughed at Edison, but you get the general twist. <laughs> feel anything? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Better if you lie. <laughs> Guys never get that right. Now look folks, watch closely. One small cut for man, one giant rip for mankind. Try and get them to go before the show. You know. <laughs> a joint 
No. <laughs> Something, Anthony, pull that out. <clears throat> is that a, is that a, a dollar bill, Anthony? Sure looks like it. Oh! <laughs> is it missing a corner? Oh, it is. Oh, does the corner match the corner from your original bill? And does the serial yeah. number match? Okay, you said it's, uh, it looks like it's a, oh, okay, I have a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. Oh, it matches. Okay, okay, shut up. All of you, I am so disappointed in all of you. What a rotten bunch of scientists you turned out to be. <laughs> Anthony could be my brother. You don't know. <laughs> we could have printed a hundred of these in Photoshop this afternoon. This is a 21st century, folks. Wake up. <laughs> if this is really science and not some cheap magic trick, like, say, cold fusion, the experiment should be repeatable under test conditions, should it not? Yeah. Let's do it again. This time I'm going to come over here. Um, do you know Anthony? You don't have to act so proud about it. I'm just... <laughs> it's just that I don't want people to think that you're in cahoots. What is your name, honey? Lydia. Lydia. <laughs> Lydia. Would, you, uh, would you write your name on the bill in big, bold letters? Okay, this way she will have an actual signature from a disinterested, um, practically comatose <laughs> spectator. <laughs> and this time, um, Anthony, instead of into a lemon, we're going to vary the procedure and make it a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. You're going to love this. We're going to put your bill into one of these large grade A <clears throat> free range <laughs> chicken eggs. Now, that's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Free-range eggs. How much range does an egg ever need? <laughs> you done, honey? I'm going to take the pen, and I'll take the bill, and I'll ask you, Lydia, take one of the eggs. Just grab one. Be, be gentle. Don't want to break on you or anything. Got it? Is that the one you want to change your mind? Okay, be careful with that. <clears throat> now, we're going to take um, your bill, Anthony, with Lydia's name written on it. Can you see that? Yeah. Folks, this time it goes into the device without any protection at all, directly into the device, which means it's not going to burn quite as fast <laughs> because of the lemon juice. something, Lydia. Oh, there you are. Okay, hold on. Did you feel anything at all, Lydia? That's like a record for me. Now, Lydia, according to my theory, 
Not only did the electromagnetic radiation emanating from our device cause the bill to break up into its atomic constituents, traverse through the ether, and reconstitute itself inside this egg, but in the process, the entire egg has been hard-boiled. Okay, that was wrong. All right, an error has crept in. <laughs> well, nevertheless, I have a medical implement, which I have saved from my college years. I see I'm not the only college graduate in the room. I'm going to let you keep this bill as kind of a souvenir <laughs> of my performance. And you can show it to all your friends and tell them exactly what happened. And they're not going to believe you. But um, I'm going to wipe it off first before I give it back to you with a, a sanitary wipe. I can't be too careful these days. And I do want to point out a couple of things, um, Anthony. This bill has been written on and it's been torn and it's been um, covered with lemon juice and egg. <clears throat> and it's a little burnt around the edges. <laughs> which is a bug that we will fix before we send people. <laughs> but all of these things, Anthony, are felonies under United States law. So I'd rather you not particularly talk about this trick when you get out of this room if you catch my drift. Hawk Hayden! Thank you very much, folks. Thank you very much. 